it's just yeah. to me it's utterly outrageous for our government to have continued without having the consent of the people people have been telling them for two years with petitions with open letters signed by groups representing over 50,000 New Brunswickers. Now you have people coming together. We've done everything possible to stop this. And now people are putting their feet on the street because the, our conscience tells us this is the right thing to do. And uh, what do you expect really? Because what government, if government is really changing the laws to suit the needs of industry, which has been done with the extensions of the licenses for exploration. I mean, we 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 told them that we don't accept this as legitimate. Um, there was uh, natives that were trying to uh, uh, conduct their their smudging uh, ceremony with the with the police, and the police were standing there, and and um, and then their boss came along and started blasting this this uh, this native for for doing this without their consent and uh, trying to stop him and um, it was all kind of ridiculous really because he you know it was a nice thing he was doing it was a gesture of peace uh, to the police and uh, instead the police seemed to not welcome that uh, at least the boss did so it was it was um, it was a difficult day it was an emotional day but um, um, at the end of the day I think it was a victory for the people uh, to expose really the intention of this government to basically disregard um, the rights that are imposed on this province by the Constitution of Canada and the rights that are imposed on the uh, federal government, Mr. Harper, uh, who is uh, the leader and uh, clearly seems to, uh, be, to relish in breaching uh, the citizens' rights and the natives' rights. Um, All right, well yes. one thing that a lot of communities have um, voted for a moratorium in their communities and some people feel safe about that but it won't be granted unless it's granted on a provincial level so that's an important little tidbit that people should know. Scott Davidson. Scott, uh, Scott what do you think about uh, the shale gas uh, tobacco? I think it's a tobacco for sure. I don't, I don't see where it can be done safely. I don't think they've invented either steel for the casing or cement that will last forever. In my personal opinion, our government is corporate owned. And then some. That's, who, that's, that's where their financing for their campaigns come from. That's where they go when they're done with politics. What's your name? My name's Brenda. Brenda? Where are you from, Brenda? I'm from uh, Sussex. Sussex? Well, uh, what, what, what's your reason for being here today? Pretty much the same as what Christine just said. Um, I don't know a whole lot about it other than it doesn't make sense to me from what I've heard about how they put the water in the ground with the chemicals and just to get a bit of gas out of the rock. It doesn't make sense to me how that could be even efficient, how it could um, not harm the earth, the water. Um, so I'm here to support that. So.